Are you kidding me? Hell no. Well, that's not exactly how the judge put it. She said no, but that's exactly what a lot of animal advocates wanted to hear. Ready for the question here? The attorney asking, can my client go ahead and board and train dogs once again, even though he's now out on bond facing three felony counts of animal cruelty in connection with the deaths of these three dogs? You know, he's having some money issues. That was the question an attorney for embattled dog trainer Alan Brown asked a judge in a Texas courtroom as his court case continues. Brown, the owner of Canine Direction, a boarding and training facility he runs out of his home. The same place where the three dogs, Brooklyn, Booster, and Hershey, all died during the last two years. Alan's attorney telling the judge he's having financial issues. Well, it's a two-income household, remember? As we were the first to report, his wife, a veteran Arlington, Texas police officer, Stacy Putnam Brown, also indicted by a grand jury for obstruction or retaliation. This is she wrote a police report against Brooklyn's dog parents saying she was being harassed and getting death threats after Brooklyn's parents spoke out on social media. That police report, essentially against the victims, later dropped. In the courtroom, though, supporters who said no question, they'd bring their dogs back to Brown. They learned to walk, they learned commands, they were socialized, they were more adoptable. Do you want to trust him? Yes. All right, so Brown and his wife are now out on bond. Brown's next court date, Alan Brown that is, is January 29th. His police officer wife, Stacey Putnam Brown, is February 5th. Meantime, Alan Brown is not allowed to have any contact except with the seven dogs now at the couple's home. Stay tuned.